Sup you guys, uh, today I'm going to make a little bit of a different video, this isn't going to be downloading anything, it's already going to be some of, uh, some tips and tricks on things, and this uh, tips and tricks is going to be on iTunes, this is the latest version of iTunes, this is iTunes version 10.3.1, build 55, uh, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add uh, a large amount of music to it really quickly. Uh, now, people, what they do is that they normally just, I like to torrent my music. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've been torrenting a lot of um, uh, collections and stuff for my iTunes library. I sort of want to add a lot of, add a lot of, like a wide, wide selection of music. So I downloaded this 4.7 gig uh, fo folder of music. And as you see here, it's multi-folder. It comes with a picture for it forgot to change that to low and it comes with the uh, basically the song list even though there's a bunch of songs in there anyway it runs at 320 kilobits but uh, let me show you how to add a bulk amount of music to your iTunes library as I showed you this is the latest version of iTunes so don't think oh I don't have it uh, first thing you want to do is go to file and press add to library now usually um, usually on your on certain pirated music or torrented music you're gonna end up with a lot of folders uh, some people like to assort the folders uh, versus on CDs like if it's a multi CD collection they're gonna put the CDs as folders uh, this helps in Windows Media Player but since we're using iTunes it's not really gonna be useful so first thing you want to do is find and locate where it is so uh, hmm. Let me see. I'm going to see what it's called. Q Music. Okay. So as you can see, it's sort of opening them up there. And this file name. Now we have one folder. And I'm lucky that the person that made this uh, made one folder, all the song list, and the cover art. Uh, it's a different language, but yeah, you can just delete things you don't need. Uh, it's a, it's another language, well, who cares? You just press choose, and iTunes will do the rest. Uh, I'm sorry if the video recording might freeze here, but um, I guess it has to basically grab itself 500 songs and put it in here. So I guess I'll pause the recording and return when it's finished. Yeah, so we're back here, and it just finished. Uh, it took, I'm not sure when I paused it, but all I know is that's 4.50 now. Um, so that sort of was a long time. I mean, I just listened to my iPod the whole time. But um, now it just has to write them down. And it all, it the, in, how should I say it? The import speed sort of all depends, not on how long the song is, it mostly depends on the bitrate. Now, since mine was all 320 kilobits, it's going to affect it. So, uh, now it's just copying everything. And luckily, everything was... The person who made the torrent of all the music uh, luckily knew how to make it, make it iTunes format with uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on, all the way till 0, 0,500. And since they did that, I don't have to... Um, I don't have to rename the songs and renaming 500 songs plus the time it takes to render them back again does take a long time um now this i think it does have a limit but i don't really think the limit would affect you guys i think it's like 80,000 songs per bulk but I, I don't know i mean it's itunes apple made i don't really know why they would put a limit on it but i kept seeing around in forums just trying to look to how to do this even though I mean I knew how to do this like generally I just wanted to know what were the limitations and stuff like FAQs but uh, that's how to do it and let me just say uh, that don't torrent music the reason I do it is because I want a large library but I mean to your guys's risks your guys's stuff but let me just stop blabbering on here, wait for this thing to load, and let me just say subscribe to me, give me a thumbs up, it'll help me out, and give me a comment on what you think. 
But other than that, thanks for watching, and I thank you for it.